All right, YouTube, what's going on, man? We got the raw MG here today, and this thing, man, golly. This thing shoots, like, literal missiles out of the magazine, man. I swear to God, it hits so damn hard. It does have some drawbacks. It is an LMG. It is slow as shit. But, man, this thing is super good in Warzone. I have the best class set up for you guys today. You guys definitely need to try it out. In case you guys do enjoy today's video, man, make sure you guys like the video. Help push it out into the algorithm more. Comment down below what gun I should do next. And, of course, subscribe with notice on so you guys don't miss any future uploads. And we're going to get right into the video. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's go, man. All right, boys, on the muzzle here, I'm rocking the Bruin Agent 90 Suppressor here. This is going to be, this is going to give us sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. Now, the mini map doesn't show the pings regardless, but they do show up on the compass if you guys aren't rocking. Plus, I want the additional damage of the bullet velocity and damage range since I'm going to be using this at longer ranges. And trust me, this is definitely the way to go here on the raw MG. And here's the tuning on that. This is the best tuning, I think, in my opinion. I've got 0.41 on the recoil smoothness side of things, and then plus. 0.32 on the bullet velocity side of things hopping on into the barrel category here i'm rocking the rhino barrel for extra recoil control and extra bullet velocity does take away from the movement speed and aimed on sight speed which kind of sucks because this thing is an lmg and i am going to experiment with some other different builds to see if maybe the mobility would be better on something else rather than this but this is the one i was using in today's video so if you guys want to copy this exact load i would just throw this on there and then here is the tuning for the barrel i have it bumped up to 0.32 on the recoil steadiness and then i have it lowered to point minus one four on the aim down sight speed side of things i'm not maxing out the sliders anymore because it actually can hurt your weapon more than it can benefit it uh, so if you guys haven't watched true game data's video on that i definitely recommend doing that all right man for the underbarrel i'm rocking the sa side grip for extra aiming idle stability aim walking steadiness recoil steadiness and recoil stabilization this will help us hit our targets at those longer ranges and that's extremely important because that's exactly what we're going to be using this thing for is at those longer ranges up close this thing is super slow you're not going to get a lot of kills up close with this thing so you're always going to want to have this thing ready to go for long range and here's the tuning on that i have it lowered to minus 0.52 for the aim down sight speed and i have it raised ever so slightly at 0.05 towards the aiming idle stability next up we got the laser in here and i'm rocking the fss olev boosting the aim down sight speed aiming stability and the sprint to fire speed this is an lmg and it does extremely lack in mobility especially the aim down sight speed and the sprint to fire speed so having this thing on there will definitely help in that category the only con is is the laser is visible in ads but i do think the pro is out Way the cons in this specific circumstance there's no tuning on that so we're gonna hop right into the optic category here and we're rocking the aim op v4 this is just my personal favorite optic to use and i always say the optics are personal preference and nothing's going to change up there man that is still the case with this specific build i just really like this one i think it's super clean super easy to use now, of course if you guys aren't a fan of this use whatever you guys want in this category but i highly recommend at least trying this one out because it is super good and then here's the tuning on that i have it lowered down to the aim down sight speed all the way and i also have it maxed out on the eye position to far now i've seen other people use close close will just have additional visual recoil to it and i'm really not a fan of that so i rather go with far and lower all visual recoil that i possibly can because recoil at those longer ranges is definitely something that will get in the way from getting a kill or two and we will hop into the firing range here again this thing does kill super fast i believe this is the fastest killing primary weapon in the game it is pretty easy to control the recoil it does have a slight slight bit of kick to it but once you're able to control that and learn the pattern man this thing absolutely lasers man and of course that's going to be the end of the class setup i'm going to throw up a little bit of the gameplay now i dropped i think almost a 30 kill game in this video and that is absolutely incredible make sure you guys stick tuned to the end so you guys can see how well this thing works it's been excellence so i'll catch you guys in the next one man peace out oh my god what the what? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Over there. Yeah, let's just uh, Wow.
Oh, they covered, they covered, bro. Fuck. Oh my god. Dude, no fucking way. I just don't have fucking plays, bro.